Jordan Mady here with your Silver 7 Five Thoughts for Friday. The Hoffman's advantage at Ryan Line was restored this past weekend, and I predicted that Bobby Ryan would play point per game hockey for the rest of the season with the trio restored. They each had a point against Anaheim, but were held pointless against Winnipeg. Now that the team has been eliminated, their chemistry should be fun to watch in the final five games. Speaking of elimination, the Ottawa Senators were indeed mathematically ruled out of the playoff race on Wednesday. They've now missed the playoffs four times in their last eight seasons, and a total of eight times out of 23 seasons in their modern franchise history. Do they make the playoffs next season? To me, that highly depends on what happens over the summer. Ken Warren's one-on-one -on -one with Clark MacArthur about his concussion is a must-read in the Ottawa Citizen this week. MacArthur provided candid details about what it's been like for him dealing with his third concussion. Because it's so candid, I wouldn't be surprised if the NHL was upset about the story. They're dealing with an ongoing concussion lawsuit brought against them by former players, and Warren's story certainly doesn't help their cause. TSN's Rick Westhead is doing a fantastic job covering the lawsuit. In addition, Post Media's Scott Stinson came out with a piece to Tuesday, saying that the NHL should straight up ban fighting. Links in the description. My take on this has always been that the NHL, at the very least, has a social responsibility to its young fans in terms of their understanding of fighting and the dangers of repeated head injuries. When I played hockey, my teammates would sometimes put on their helmets and gloves before practice and quite literally fight each other. Who was their role model? I'm personally fine with the nomination of Zach Smith for the Bill Masterton Trophy, though I might have also nominated Jean-Gabriel Pajot. But this provides an opportunity to talk about some NHL awards, and whether or not they're still valid given that many writers in the Professional Hockey Writers Association choose to ignore analytics. If every PHWA member paid closer attention to advanced stats, I'm thinking Eric Carlson is the shoe-in for the Norris Trophy this season. Not so. The Rocket Richard Trophy is easy because it's awarded to the player with the most goals in an NHL season. But when writers are asked for their opinion on something that's a little more subjective, such as the Norris, should it be about the narrative around the player or their numbers? Should it be about both? And does the Norris Trophy become less prestigious if numbers are ignored? It was reported Monday that Neil Yakupov has asked for a trade out of Edmonton. Sends have kicked tires on the former first overall pick in the past. Would you like to see a revisit? Or would Ottawa be better off aiming for Jonathan Drouin? I would personally pick Drouin. Let me know what you would do down in the comments. Those are my five thoughts for Friday. Once again, my name is Jordan Mady. Merci beaucoup pour avoir regardé. Thank you for watching.